What does jailbreaking mean for an Android phone? Well, jailbreaking for an Android phone is called rooting or root, R-O-O-T. And what it allows you to do, it allows you to have complete administrative control over the device. That means you can install custom ROMs. Just like in jailbreaking, we can put themes on our iPhones and work through Winterboard or add tweaks through Cydia. Well, for Android, it's using APKs, ROMs, and you always have to be rooted, meaning you have to be the, the chief administrator of the device sort of like windows so when we talk about uh, jailbreaking on an Android phone we're talking about routing the device and how do you root the device there's several ways to root the device and you can find them in the Android market you can also use Google to find a reliable source to root your Android phone just like SB settings and winterboard are some of the main uh, basic customizations of an Android uh, an iPhone launcher pro get the very one of the very first things that people add to the Android phone is Launcher Pro because Launcher Pro provides a cool I'm also using a, an I, um, iOS um, keyboard Launcher Pro I'll select it alright Launcher Pro is always has always been free in the Android market and what it allows you to do is it allows you to have a cool interface um, with 3d animation um, custom wallpaper demonstrate it there you go you have the phone you have the your contacts you have your app drawer. You open it up. There you go. <clears throat> scroll up. Scroll down. <clears throat> you have your uh, text messages. And you have your internet browser. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still have a cold, guys. And... You know, whatever I need. If I need to add a camera, there's a camera. If I need to add the camcorder, there's a camcorder. If I want to make another page, I can make another page. I can have a game this time. So it's, it's really awesome. It's infinite. Well, let's add YouTube. And there's a YouTube pretty cool for this page we can add let's see <clears throat> can add angry birds angry birds and there we have we have a game now one cool thing about launcher pro if you hold it in landscape mode you have landscape and you hold it in portrait you can't do that with HTC Sense but if we want to go back, you can also go back, Oops. stock, where you have your phone here. <clears throat> and you can set default to whichever interface you like, but a lot of people enjoy Launcher Pro because of the customizations. And that is really why you would root or jailbreak your device 
to have customization of your device. Have a little bit more freedom with the Android device because it is an open source source program. The open source means that this uh, Android 2.3 gingerbread update although it looks different on an HTC phone HTC has a special skin that they put over this phone called HTC Sense that is HTC's brand of interface on the HTC phones but but underneath the skin it is still 2.3 point four a, a common user interface and some of them might use touch whiz touch whiz is on the um, Samsung epic 4g touch that I recently reviewed in my last few videos it is a it is a it is a skin for that particular model Samsung uh, Galaxy s2 family of phones and another thing about it uh, the differences between the iPhone and the Android with the iPhone we have to wait for the developers to create a untethered jailbreak or a tethered jailbreak in order to update to newer firmwares that Apple puts out to improve their their products with Android you don't have that issue you can easily root an Android phone you can easily put launcher pro on just about any Android phone to customize the phone uh, the way you like it you might want to change the status bar you might want to change the battery icon you might want to change the, the the way the apps on the springboard move you might want a 3d you might want a cube you know you might want to have a different phone interface that you, there's unlimited customization out of the box for an Android phone that you don't get out of the box with an iPhone because you have to make sure that there is a jailbreak available so why would you want to jailbreak an Android phone? It's a personal decision. You don't have to if you don't want to. Why would you want to jailbreak an iPhone? Because you you don't have to jailbreak or root either either one of these phones you can use them stock as they are but if you want your iPhone to do a little bit more uh, feature wise then you jailbreak that is why we jailbreak our phones for your phone you should be able to do with it whatever you choose and it's just a choice as far as voiding your warranty, you will not void your warranty with either an Android or an iPhone. If you need to service it, then I highly recommend that you, for the iPhone, save your SHSH blobs uh, with the, uh, either Cydia or Tiny Umbrella and restore your phone to stock configuration so that you can take your phone in for servicing for the Android phone I'm not sure if it matters if you're rooted or not for servicing but you can always unroot your phone there is an uninstall button for for rooting so you you really not restricted and you're not voiding your warranty by jailbreaking or rooting your device so I thought this would be helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.